Hello, I'm Wani, and I am a Tauren. Dun dun dun! Okay, there's kind of a point behind me being a Tauren. Um, this is actually my sort of Horde main. This dungeon looks like it's going to go very interesting. Um, because it has the name Wanio, like my Draenei does. And it's a druid. I think I mentioned in my Paladin video that originally when I started playing, I was like, I'm going to play both factions evenly and have like five Horde classes and five Alliance classes and mix them all up so that I've got every class and race done and no doubling up and all that sort of rubbish. And obviously, um, I've already got my Alliance Druid level 85 video up on YouTube, so... I changed my mind on that in the end, but this was the first Horde character I made. I can't remember why I decided on Druid, but obviously Tauren, because when I first started playing, there was no such thing as Troll Druids. So, I had to be a Tauren. And... That's some nice pelvic thrusting with its animations there. <laughs> and yeah, I'm a Druid. Originally, I was also sort of like, oh hey, Druids can be everything. I'm going to have everything and collect it like... 20 bajillion different sets of loot. No exaggeration, it was literally 20, 20 bajillion sets of loot. Absolutely. And... Yeah, I wound up with... That, and then I was like, oh, you know what? Like, after I rolled my Alliance Druid, who is... Um, tank and resto, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go mix things up a bit, and since I don't have a Boomkin spec, and I've had Boomkin's fun, I'm gonna go Boomkin. And Boomkin is pretty fun. Don't want that. Like, obviously I'm only level 53 here. This isn't a max level dungeon, it's, you know, Sunken Temple, and this guy is trying to go to the last boss. Doesn't work like that, fella. I don't know what he's trying to do. Seems to have forgotten that you need to do the other stuff. Um, actually, I'm glad and a little disappointed at the changes they made to Sunken Temple. I won't lie, it was never my favourite dungeon. In fact, it was a complete ass of a dungeon to try to do. No, you can't attack the last boss until you've killed the other boss. <laughs> But, like, they've cut out a lot of the fluff of this place. Like, originally there was this whole extra thing around the outside, and you had other things, and lots of mini-bosses. And it took ages to do this dungeon, and it was very, very easy to get lost. Gotta kill the... Yeah, do that all you like. I think I need to say something. Gotta kill the troll boss before you can attack a Ratnicus. Ah, uh, some people. Buff. I don't have my buff yet. I don't think I'll get my buff until... Soon. I think. 62. Not that soon. Another 9 levels. I've actually had this character for eight. Actually, what's my played on this character, I wonder? Uh, four days. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm only level 53. <laughs> but, like, this is one of my oldest alts here. I've had this character for ages. And Where's this guy going now? I don't even think he knows where he's going. There's a guy the, you know, fall down the hole and die like a bad hole there. That was very disappointing. That hole was awesome. But, all in all, it was a good change to the dungeon. It was needlessly complicated and the, it wasn't worth doing for the time that it took to do and now it's streamlined and it's not as cold, it's not as much of an epic dungeoning experience but it's also just less blah. <laughs> That's probably the best way to do it. I don't even know where everyone's going now. <laughs> This is like the most confused th place. The most confused group I've had in this place since they took out all the extra fluff in it. I don't even know what this guy's doing. I'm trying to die probably. Oh well. But anyway, back to Boomkins. The Boomkin mechanics changed 
quite a bit. I think in Cataclysm, when they redid the whole talent revamp, was when they sort of redid the thing. Because um, in Wrath of the Lich King, they had the Eclipse talent. And pretty much how it worked was, I think your Starfire had a chance to make your... to give you a buff that made Wrath awesome source. And Wrath had a chance to replace that buff with one that would make Starfire awesome source. So pretty much good. Spam Wrath until you got the one that made Starfire awesome. Like, that was how you start the fight. Um, then you would spam um, Starfire until you got the buff that made Wrath awesome, and you would just sort of alternate between the two of those there, and that, that was alright. Um, I think I never played it when it was like that, but I think a lot of people didn't really mind it, but one of the biggest complaints was that, like, you would have to sit there at the start of the fight with neither of these buffs. I think, um, I think the Starfire, the buff to Starfire made its haste, like, made its cast time way shorter, and the Wrath one made its crit chance a lot higher. But, like, at the start of the fight, you would sit there for ages waiting for these things to proc, and they just would not proc. And, like, if you were really unlucky, and that's not fun gameplay. So what they've done instead is they've replaced it with this... Eclipse bar here, and I think using Starfire pushes it to the right hand side, and using um, Wrath pushes it to the other side, and this ability, Star Search here, pushes it to whichever one you're currently moving towards, if that makes sense. So at the moment I'm gaining, um, oh, Bazingar is mind controlled. I might go, oh no, he's unmind controlled now, I was going to root him. Haha, <laughs> something inappropriate. Don't you do that to me. Remove Karas. <laughs> Bazingar is mind control again. And pretty much, you move your bar between the two there. Uh, ooh, that's a bar. That's a thing. I want that. Um, like, you sort of, I think start out by using Wrath and it'll get you the solar. No, the other way around. You start out using Starfire, and that gives you the Solar Eclipse there on the right-hand side first, and then you keep using Wrath until you get the Lunar one, and you sort of alternate between the two. It took all the RNG out of the spec, but um, you've still got the whole balancing two aspects of night and day, which is what balance was meant to be all about, and... Yeah, that's pretty cool. I have a Sarong. I feel very Pacific Islander with a Sarong. Um, I also don't actually have any heirlooms on these characters. Um, it's one of the things that I'm looking forward to in Warlords of Draenor, is them making the heirlooms properly account-bound in the way that pets and bounce and stuff are, where, you know, every pet and mount you can access on any character, so... Actually, what's really neat about that there is the fact that Alliance-specific mounts turn into Horde-specific mounts, so I've already got all of the Horde-flying mounts, and... I've only got one Horde character above level 60, and that's a Death Knight, which is the only reason it's above level 60. I don't even have training, uh, flying trained on anything yet. I don't have enough gold. But yeah, um, none of my Horde characters have heirlooms, because they're all on a different realm to every other alt of mine, and because of that fear I just can't get the heirlooms. I was originally sort of planning to spam Dark Moon Fear on, the, on my Horde, but now that you know, the end is in the sight. I don't need to. Proper account bound heirlooms are coming. Yeah. No! I really hate this trash. This trash isn't any better since they can jig it up with Sunken Temple. That fear is just the most annoying thing ever. I wonder if that guy's gonna die. Maybe. Oh, I'm gonna throw out something else. Like a boom chin. Like a laser chicken. Oh, I haven't summoned my laser chicken yet. Where is my laser chicken? Pet chicken. No. Uh, what is it called? I think it's called horse chicken. There it is. Horse chicken. I'm summoning you. I choose you, horse chicken. Whoops. No, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Knock backs. Uh-oh. I don't have rebirth yet either. And I've gone and changed my thing to the combat log here. I'm going to buff you. No, you're too- Get back here! Where are you going? Ah, uh, this place is fun. <laughs> so much fun. Oh, they're already back. I can't even properly AOE, because, like, every time I try, they run off. What's that button? 
Astral Communion. <laughs> I forgot I have that button. <laughs> Killing you. Killing you. Range of DPS dies. Fuck out some of those. There. Use a heart of potion. The stretch is like. Such a pain in the ass. The mage is getting angry. Oh hey, my DPS isn't as terrible as I thought it was. <laughs> One of the downsides of not having heirlooms is you just always have a terrible DPS. Oh, that guy's still alive. One more mob to kill, and I think we're about to level two. Moon fire set. There we go, leveled up. I gained innervate. Nice. I've been wanting to innervate back for ages. They massively changed what level it is when they did the whole Mists of Panda Land thing, and hooray! I would put that on my bars. I think I have a macro for it still. Do I? Do I? I do. My macros, um, if you watch my priest video, I talk about my healing macros. Pretty much just heals whoever I have my mouse over and useful buffs like, um, innervate and those sorts of things. But if it's red, it's dead. <laughs> this boss is a pain in the ass as well because of the mind controls. I think... Here is the tank. There he is. He has a funny mask. Yes, you're the tank. Go pull the boss. <laughs> go, 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 go. Referencing more popular YouTubers than me. Go, go. Go, go. Why isn't he going? The soul flayer comes. Earth grab totem. I'm gonna be a nice ranged and kill the Joy earth grab totem. Us. Unless somebody else was killed before me first. I don't know. Do I have any? Oh, I do have a buff. I've got my um herbalism life bloom thing. Oop, that person is mind controlled. I actually have a hunch that I can't dispel the mind control. Join us. Well, I've got aggro on the boss. <laughs> this dungeon really is. Oh, I'm mind control. Oh, time to sit here and twiddle my thumbs and watch as I beat everybody up. Ah, this boss is all sorts of fun. Oh, I'm healing myself. And hurricaning things. You get some really funny mind controls. I think one of the funniest ones I've seen, um, not in this obviously, was Imperial Vizier Zorlock, or whatever the hell the guy's name is, and um, and uh, you know, Heart of Fear, that's the one. Um, mind controlled one of my Druid Rage member friend peoples, and as a result, she started casting Symbiosis on the boss. It didn't actually do anything, but it was funny to watch. And now whenever she gets mind control, she jokes about symbiosis and us to death. Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! I'm going to die! I'm going to die! Oh, there we go. I'll heal myself up. I'm rooted for four seconds. Oh no! Okay, I don't need either of those. Disenchant. And now we can go to the last boss. Ah, uh, this place is fun. It really isn't too bad of a dungeon. Like, it, it is a good thing that they trimmed out, they trimmed off the fat and made it less, oh man, this dungeon takes forever. Hey, this guy's got... I don't know, what was that? It looked like the Cheetor Pedo thing, but I just realised it's level 90 talent, so he can't have Cheetor Pedo. Oh, oh, there we go. It is what... Beautiful. Fresh. 
the tank is asking if we want him to tank. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm going flying! Oh, been not landed the other mobs. Actually, I'm genuinely curious. Yep, he's Windwalker. Lovely, the, my favourite part of leveling dungeons. People who aren't tanks back to using as tanks. I think they changed this guy, the last boss's mechanics. Also, I like that. I have like every set, every menu bound to a key button and I never remember which one's which. Oh, they, did, they do have deep slumber in the game. Oh, and this still. Deep slumber was a really annoying tank mechanic um, for leveling dungeons and stuff like. It's a neat mechanic, but for a leveling dungeon it was such a pain in the ass because what it does is it makes the t tank go to sleep and invincible and stuff so that the boss would drop aggro and move to the next highest target and I remember quite a few times that happened to me, my not entirely unsquishy mage, and my mage died a lot. <laughs> not very fun. Oh well. That was always fun. One of my other favourite mind control experiences was from Stratholm. Um, one of the bosses of there does a mind control and ooh I've got aggro again. Hooray, I'm going to die probably. Let's go with Barkskin. Barkskin, that will keep me safe. No, I'm gonna die. I wish I had a three drop. Um, yeah, my mage got mind controlled, and the first thing my mage did was target the healer and pyroblast. <laughs> and it was a pretty good one shot there. I think I was the highest person in the dungeon, and that was funny. That was really funny. Ooh, nah. I still got spirit instead of haste, which is, you know, more hit chance, but I don't know, I don't know. No, I'll no, I'll let the mage have it, I don't really care. But yeah, there we go. Low level boomkin dungeon DPSU. I'm not going to do another dungeon because I can't be bothered, but yeah, thanks for watching.